I'm always the same around the holidays, everyone else is full of the joys of Christmas. And I just feel like crying all the time. It's affecting everything I do. I can't concentrate at work. Hey Steve. If you're not doing anything do you fancy Christmas dinner at mine? Thanks Vicky. Can I get back to you? Yes of course. Hey Steve. I just called you in cause we're all a bit worried about you. Yes sir. I'm sorry. Don't be silly Steve. We know this time of year is always hard for you. I just wanted to see if there was anything we could do. Do you need any time off? No sir. I'm better if I'm with other people. Sitting at home on my own just makes me think more. Are you still seeing the counselor? Yes sir. In fact I'm seeing her this afternoon. Well if there's anything I can do, you know where I am. Yes. Thank you sir. So Steve. How have you been since I saw you last week? Not very good I'm afraid. It's always the same when we get close to Christmas time. Do you have someone you can spend Christmas with? Well, a friend at work has invited me over to spend Christmas Day with her, but... But what Steve? I don't think I'll go. I don't want to spoil everyone else's Christmas. Christmas Eve. I used to love this day, I'm so unhappy. Why did you have to leave? Why does it still hurt so much? I don't know if I can carry on like this. What's that? Susanda? I know how hard things have been for you Steve. And Christmas is a time for miracles. So I have a special gift for you. You do? Someone's outside who's here to talk to you. Hello son. Dad. Oh dad. I've missed you so much, but how? How can you be here? I've been given this chance to come back to say goodbye, and to tell you that it's time to move forward with your life. But Dad, nothing's the same since you left. I miss you. But I'm always with you. In all the memories of the happy times we shared together, but it's time to start living your life again. Okay, Dad. I promise I'll try. Anyway. It's time for me to go. Just one last thing. Yes, Dad. The girl at work, Vicky. She really likes you. I think I'll give Vicky a call to see if her offer of Christmas dinner still stands. 